Hi, this is Jamie, Chief Technician for the Rational Bicycle Team. What I'd like to talk to you now about is the spectrograph. Right now, we're looking at the RTA. Um, but there's another way of looking at spectrum, and that's with the, the spectrograph. And the, I think the easiest way to show it to you is actually, I'm going to jump over to a two-window view. Now, what we're seeing on the spectrograph is on the vertical scale, we're seeing measurements go by in time. Horizontal scale, again, is going to be frequency domain. And then we're going to use color to indicate level. Now, on the RTA graph, we've got two markers on the RTA graph. Um, we've got the low threshold and high threshold. And what we're going to notice is as signal crosses over the, the low threshold, it's going to start to show up on the graph. Um, it's going to start off as a, a dark purple. If it's below the threshold, it's going to be black on the screen, but then it will go to a, a dark purple, then a lighter blue, then a green, then a yellow, orange, red. And by the time it hits the top threshold, it's going to show up as white. So. I'm just going to whistle here, and you can see it's changing in frequency, and you can see it changing in level as I go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my microphone in a little bit closer so I can really hit this microphone a little bit harder. And now you can see my voice showing up in the spectrograph. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to expand out this view down at the bottom and I'm going to change the threshold level so I can change I can control the low threshold and the high threshold on the fly and I can do that with older data we're we're retaining the data even as it passes off the screen we're retaining a certain number of traces I can go back through page through my spectrograph history by hitting the up and down arrows or I can go back to the the current uh, measurements by just hitting either the X or Y axis the information about the spectrograph is contained in the spectrograph settings in the spectrum options. You can get the spectrum options either through the options menu or hitting the spectrum name above the spectrum control area. Um, we can see that right now I've got a slice height of four pixels per measurement and slices in history. I'm retaining a thousand measurements in our history. We take 24 measurements per second so that means that a thousand slices basically equals about 40 seconds worth of data now I could I could increase that I could increase that to 2,000 um, 2,000 slices it just means that I need now need to save twice as much uh, data in memory now we're at 125 megabytes so nothing too hefty I hit apply okay so my data on my screen is showing the measurements as they go by. I can use plus and minus to compact or expand the time scale with our data. Now, this is a really great way of looking at an RTA over time, and there's some great applications. And so I think Chris, one of our documentation specialists, will be in here to talk to you about, about different applications of the spectrograph. Um, being able to look at RTA over time really helps show up some of the some uh, phenomenon that are that are <laughs> very visible over time. In fact, as I'm talking, there's a background noise going on down at about 60 cycles, cranking through and creating a line on this plot.